Hey guys, Reese Field here. So, the trapping season's over, but does your fur room still look like this? Piles of fur that you have not gotten rid of, but you need to before they spoil over the summer? All just because you missed a fur pickup? Well, that seems to happen to me every season. Either I catch more fur after the last fur truck comes around, or I just miss the pickups. And I have, uh, Quite a lot of fur left over. So, today I'm going to teach you guys how to ship fur and where to and how to and all the tips and stuff like that. It'll be a short video just so you guys can uh, see that it's really not the end. All you do, get all your fur together like I have here and measure the longest fur and the widest fur and then precisely cut or fashion or just get a cardboard box and make sure it's pretty much to size the bigger it gets the more it's going to cost the ship you can't quite help how much it weighs because your furs are going to make it weigh a certain amount but try to make it be the shortest length and the shortest shortest width possible you're not going to make that much money off furs nowadays so the less you can spend on shipping and the more you can actually get for your furs the better all right, next, on the box, you're going to be shipping it to Grunwald Fur and Wool Company, 304 East Avon Street, Forreston, Illinois, 61030 USA, and then put your return address on it, of course, and uh, what they'll do is it'll ship to them, I live in Wisconsin, so it'll probably take about a day or two, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put a little slip of paper in there with your phone number saying call for price and what will happen is they'll look at the furs they're professionals they know what they're doing the furs and the caster or whatever else you want to send them and uh, they'll, they'll estimate about how much it's worth and they'll call you and they'll say hey how much does this you know does this sound alright and in my opinion I would always just say yes because it's a hassle to have the fur be sent back to you and you gotta figure out what next to do with it so I just normally say yes so make sure you put a phone number in the box with it so they can call you and then also, to put maybe just to be helpful, put a little list of uh, contents about what you got. So, uh, I got a beaver, two red squirrels, a raccoon, a possum, three muskrats, and five rabbit hides, and some caster I'm going to be sending them. And then just ship it, and uh, you'll be all set. They'll send you a check as soon as you say yes, it sounds good, and you're one happy trapper. So there you go, guys. That's how you ship fur. Quick, simple, and effective.